hi friends today we see how to install postal sql in our linux machines these are the content we are going to discuss throughout this video first of all uh, we will see what are the different types of postgres downloads available and then we install postgres sql in our linux machine using m repository after that we'll use pg admin tool to connect postgres in linux virtual machine first type postgres and click on downloads so there are uh, two types of downloads available binary and source code these binary packages are available for different operating systems for linux machines i will be clicking on this link for windows also it is available uh, which we will be discussing in our next video for time being we are going to the linux installation so i'll be clicking on this link so in linux installation two installations are available uh, for red hat and its family yum and rpm installation are two are available if you are facing any issues with the yum repository uh, you can go with rpm whatever the packages are ins installed using yum are all available in the rpm also by clicking on these links it will take us to the rpm files here we can see our available files so these are the rpm files uh, you can download the respective files and install it but we are using only yum for our mission so i'll be not using them so for m installation m installation is very simple so i'll be using m installation only see i'm i'm downloading the latest version of version 12 so my version is the centos os with the version 7 so i'll be using this so these few steps are sufficient enough to install postgres sql in my machine so first of all i will open my virtual machine i'll use this ip to connect to putty okay now i'll be using this m install in general we prefer m install because uh, it avoid uh, dependency errors so i'll be using our client package just click yes now install the server packages click yes now we have installed the required packages now we have to initialize the database so we, we have to initialize it so i will be using this command to initialize database is initializing so now database is initialized now i will be enabling the postgres equal to yeah symbolic link has been created now i'll be starting this postgres sql yeah now we can uh, check the status post postgres sql by typing these comments psef grep postgres yeah now we can see the postmaster is available he is pointing to this uh, data cluster so what is this cluster we will be discussing in later videos see and then in order to log into the postgres sql we have to log in as postgres user first of all switch user to the postgres now by default there is no password for it so i'll be using the command line tool psql to log in see now i have been logged into the postgres server slash l will be l, uh, command will give the list of databases so these are the default databases i'll be exiting out now i'll go to this directory actually where all these files are available i'll change ls minus ltrh see we can see this postmaster id this indicates that our server is up this is the main id postmaster pid this is the main domain okay see this is very simple so this is what so we have seen different types of downloads and then we have installed postgres sql using m repository now now we are using our pg admin tool to connect to the postgres sql see i'll be showing this small thing 
is once you will see this network configurations see my configuration is bridge adapter so in order to use my pg admin i have to change the settings i'll be changing into nat adapt nat networks and then i'll be doing port forwarding tcp ip my host ip is my local ip it's local ip address and then host port this number can be any any number so i'll be giving 2000 higher numbers are preferred and then guest ip is by default local ip address is dot 15 and then my guest port is 22 okay okay since i have changed my network configurations i have to restart my network services okay now i restart my network services since i have changed it to nat configuration this session will be disaborted now i have to log in freshly i have to use my local ip area 127.0.0.1 and my port number is 2000 i have given so we have to use this now open it yes So it is taking long time but this can this can also be avoided by changing small configurations vietc slash ssh config see here we change use dns to know so that this latency will be re reduced okay now in order to allow our pc admin to connect we have to make small changes in our configuration file see go to this location here go to this open this pg hba configure file so in this file we have to make small changes in this ipv local connections this this copy it and paste below and the change is indent to trust so it allows all the connections and also change to all so these changes you have to make host and uh, all databases all users and address it allows all connections and trust and then save this file now we have to restart the postgresql see our postgresql done so this so i have successfully restarted the postgresql services we can check here okay now i will opening the i will be opening the pg admin see now in the servers create new server postgres you can give any name and then these connections localhost default port number is 5432 so i'll be leaving here by default postgres user don't have password so i'll be leaving as here and then go to ssh tunnel there you just enable on it and give the local host give the tunnel port we have specified already as 2000 give this and username is our os user that is linux mission os user i'll be giving as a root uh, root user and its password now my postgres user is connected see this is how we have connected this is very this is how it's by default database as we can see postgres is the default database and these things are available login rules table spaces now in our postgres using command line i have logged in slash so list of database are there now i create create data sample okay now database is created you can check here see postgres and sample sample is the uh, database now we have created now we can check the same thing in our uh, pg admin okay now we have to refresh it yeah see this is the database <coughs> we have created in next session we will see how to install postgres in our windows machine and again we connect using the pg admin and also 
using cmd command line utility also how we will be accessing we will be seeing in our next videos thank you